We already rolling. Silver Raz, real deal. <laughs> we already rolling. We already rolling. Silver Raz, we already rolling, baby. <laughs> That would be y'all uh, y'all first cousins, damn it. Y'all first cousins. Oh no no first cousin would be like, yeah, your mama and your mama's sisters type right. shit. Yeah, second cousin. Right, now, yeah. You you Montaigne, y'all all first cousins. Yeah, I know. So that's, I just didn't know our fucking relation. I know. Oh, I know. Like, he said y'all not cousins for real. Like, how many people was in our family? What was going on? How you been? How you been last time I, I seen you? Oh, we're starting, starting. Yeah, um, I told you we'd be extra this interview. Oh, I've been good. What's up, y'all? It's Rebel. Um, nothing big much. Just making music, doing vlogs, and just trying to figure out life, shit, day by day, surviving. We working, man. You already know what it is. We got a lot of greatness coming soon. A lot, a lot of greatness coming soon. Tap into everybody's social media. Tap into the BTV record social media. Let them know about the band part two. That shit was the going band crazy, 2. bro. Oh yeah, back season everywhere. Uh, the wood everywhere. Watch so serious everywhere. We got a lot of great shit in store. You know that was, that was, that was, that was last year. Work for real. Twenty twenty two. It's different. It's your boy's job. <laughs> the they solid assassin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Things, man. You know, man. still working. The What's up, man? Y'all know what's going on. It's Kyrie in here. If you don't know, ask your mama because she knows everything. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it's been it's been a it's been a eventful last couple of weeks, man. We're knocking out this project, so we got some exciting things coming. We really ready for the world to see BTV, man, as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So it's really going up, man. Are you are you are you proud of the dream that you've been seeing for the last few years just manifest? You know, what I'm saying the plant that you planted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Blossoming yeah. right now, you know yeah, what I mean? Are you proud of it? It's beautiful because when you have a thought, it's just a thought. And then after that, it becomes like real. So yeah. to see it come like to life, yeah. that's the that's the beautiful thing about yeah. artists. Because, you know, we, we be in the midst of it. Yeah. But then when you step back and zoom out a little bit, you be like, damn, like, we be frustrated. Like, you know, this <laughs> stuff is hard. But when you really zoom out, you be like, man, we doing this shit. So Y'all living it's in the moment. Beautiful. Amari, as always, you know what I'm saying, back from the dead head ass. Um, <laughs> behind the scenes also, uh, the, the heart and soul of the team, really, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, uh, it's we just gonna, we gonna keep continuing to spread the love, man, and through music, through interaction, through people, through love, through genuine vibes, man, that's all we all. Day butter, man, you feel me? <laughs> I ain't never did no shit like this, but shit. Uh, I've been working, you feel me, and shit. Vultures ET out now, man. Yeah. So go get that shit. Fire. Right yeah. Fire. Let them know, bro. Real talk. What are y'all proud of the most? What are y'all, you know what I'm saying, looking forward to the most in the next few months? I'll start with thanks. What we looking forward to, man, is, uh, honestly, bro, like, it's finna get real. Like, May just started, and it, it, I feel like I woke up this morning with, like, this energy of, like, just knowing, like, May. I think I texted Kyrie and was like, May, June, and July. Yeah. And really, like, August is about to be, like, it's about to be huge. Like, cause we, we got the uh, BTV project that we just announced. Okay. Uh, coming uh, June 8th. Okay. And we, you know, about to do some out, outer city shows. We got damn near, what, 50 songs on the project. So, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you never know what you're going to get. And then, like, Butter just dropped. We all working on our own individual stuff. Hell yeah. Definitely, yeah. niggas got videos out. And I feel like this summer is literally us just like, we did the groundwork, now it's time to get back outside and really show people what we're doing, like, as a unit, you know, because, like, we all been doing our own individual shit, and now it's like, all right, it's time to put BTP on the back. You yeah, know bro. What I'm so, looking forward to, like, huge events, like, literally huge events, like, okay. shows, the project, videos, whatever you, the 
that was the name of it. Yeah. So one of us gonna be there. Yeah. If not all of us, one of us gonna be there. And they have been outside of Cincinnati as well. I'm gonna put that out there. Yeah. Y'all just been recently yeah, out. Real. You know what I'm saying? Tennessee, Tennessee. Man, people know where y'all been at. How was that for y'all just to get that name out there? How was Tennessee, uh, Tennessee rock with y'all? Of course, you know, they real big on music out there. So yeah. they, they really gotta <laughs> let you know yeah, if they fuck with y'all or not. Man. So. Yeah, bro. Tennessee was dope, man. It was it was dope. Shout out to uh, our boy Deuces. Shout out to Two Live Bree for having us down there. And we really went down there on some Cincinnati shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Man. <laughs> like we went down there, we got on the stage. We said, "Who they?" And they was hot. <laughs> we was like, you know, they was like, "No, tighten up." We like, "Relax, nigga." Who they? Like we was really down there on some Cincinnati shit. But it was it was our love, man. They really rock with us. Um, as you see, you hear a son in the background. Uh, <laughs> What's up? He's on here. Yeah. <laughs> In the future. Yeah. So like we um yeah we went down there and like you know just vibe down. They really wanted to come back. So you know we try to create this connection between Cincinnati and Nashville. And not even just Nashville. That's that's really our goal these next couple of months is to create pipelines in different cities. Okay. So whether it's Louisville, whether it's Atlanta, yeah. um places that we're hitting on a tour this summer, uh, we really just trying to create this network and grow the brand organically. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Bro. City, you know what I'm saying? So that's really been the goal, and that's the, uh, Nashville was like the first step of that. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Like you, 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 you realize how how much time can go real quick in about a day, Damn. a day and a half. Like we was really like I don't think we slept really like no. four hours. Maybe. Like <laughs> no, we no, literally no. got there and went straight to interviews, podcast shows. Got back to the city. I mean, got back to the, like the city down there. Yeah, did the stuff out there, and then it was just like we had to wake up. Yeah, that's literally how I felt. I was annoyed. Get used to it. <laughs> that's a good thing, bro. Hey, Banks. It was great. Hey, I, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. The last time I did see you was before you went viral for that meme. So I got to ask you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that shit? Because I remember that. I watched that interview. That's where it came from originally, yeah. right? Did you know that that moment was going to end up happening? Man, huh? <laughs> Man I was this nigga, bro. I like, can't even do the face, cuz. I'm like... Bro, I, I, I remember just seeing. I think he sent it to our group chat. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, chill, like, you know. What are so you, you doing? started this madness. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of and we course. was with each other, like, everybody was like, bro, what you niggas doing? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was goofy, like, oh, man. Just, keep it live, though. Miss Rebel, do you uh, have any singles that we're looking forward to coming up? You said you are working slowly, but surely. I know we still working. Yeah, we've been working, right? Um. <laughs> yeah. Cause I knew this question would come up. No, I think like lately with me um, as an artist, I've been reinventing myself and finding myself in a position of growth. Cause I feel like as a person, you should always evolve. Yes, like you shouldn't stay stagnant and be comfortable with just this. So to my fans, to my misfits, no, <laughs> I just been taking a moment, really like focusing on the music and perfecting my sound and my image, like recreating and rebranding because I feel like if I'm gonna put something out there, it has to be my best foot forward at all times. Mind of a misfit went crazy. That was the best at that time that I could give, but I don't want to push myself in. Keep pushing shit out that I don't want to stand behind. So with that being said, of course I have some <laughs> good shit dropping for y'all. Now I got a couple singles that's gonna be pushed out. Okay. And I'm also working on a really quick snippet EP, like just giving the people something. Okay. A little bit of content, as I like to say, content for you whores, you yeah. know, just right. to carry you over. Content. But right now we're just focusing on the dysfunctional album and pushing that shit. Respect. Dysfunctional coming in. You feel me? You feel me? How long have you been rapping? Like I said, this is like, I know it's the most generic question to ask, but I've literally interviewed almost everybody in here, except for you. So, how long have you been rapping? What made you start rapping? And do you remember, I'm giving you three questions in one, do you remember the first song that you remember, like, off rip? Like, probably since you was like, little Kyrie's age. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember the first song. But like, the first time I tried to rap, uh, Free my cousin, but that nigga crushed my dreams. Up, <laughs> I was happened? trying to rap. I was listening to Mac Miller. I was trying to rap. And I guess that nigga called me Black Miller, and I ain't never rapped since. <laughs> because <laughs> Black Miller? Yeah, <laughs> I ain't never rapped since. But uh, really, for real, like, I was doing poetry and shit. Okay. So I guess uh, when I started rapping a little bit, I started rapping for real, for real, like, probably like 2020, for real, like, end of 2020. And Banks really the one who tried to like him really push me to rap. Yeah. So really like I only been rapping seriously, seriously for like a year. So really like, yeah, that's really it for real. What you most passionate about? Um, I'm most passionate about my music. Okay. Like I said, I'm most passionate about my music. Like I said, I'm most passionate about my music. Like I said, I'm most passionate about my music. Like I said, I'm most passionate about my music. Like I said, I
most passionate? Yes. Music. Music is your most passion? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And what do you want people to get from your music when they hear you like coming from your speakers? Like the first thing that comes to your mind? Relatability to be honest. Like, because I be putting like, when you listen to my music, like some shit be turnt. But then like a lot of shit, like you see, I be dropped like this Vulture EP, like yeah. it's pain, you feel me? Yeah. And then, not pain, it's like this Vulture EP, like real turnt, you feel me? Like real, like get up and shit. But the TJ world, that was like pain. Okay. But mostly, like, I uh, mostly do like pain for like relatability, like what you going through, I go through two type shit. Facts. So you feel me? Just putting that shit out in the air, you yeah. feel me? Make people relate, you feel me? Make it like really resonate with people and shit. would be like doing yeah. all that, like trap shit and all that extra shit, like. I like to be different. I like to be different, like on like New York drill. You hear okay. like, New York drill type yeah. beats and like that Jersey club. Yeah, beats. like that pop won't you? Yeah, like I like to do auto tune on them. Yeah. Basically. So, okay. Like, really like sing on them type shit. Be different, like everybody rapping on them. You can be sing on them. Hey, uh. Monopoly. We love playing it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. What's you don't you don't fuck Monopoly? You don't like board games. You don't like <laughs> You out this questioning, Rebel? Damn, dog. All right, everybody else. What what piece you going with to play with, though? The car. Bro. The car? Every time. Like, give me the cash. Like the, uh, you got the cash? Money. The top hat. The top hat? I like the little, the little basket. That's the thimble. The thimble, yeah. The thimble. Yeah, the what, what you going with, fam? I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. I am a contrarian and I don't give a fuck about the pieces, nigga, because I feel like it don't matter what piece I got. He gonna win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna have the sewing nail. We the little sewing nail. Yeah. We gonna have the car. Yeah. I won. I think I win. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me the dog. I'm undefeated. Yeah, dog. I'm undefeated. You know they got the, the new dog. characters? Like, come on. Man. I ain't seen the new shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. All right, Bone Rebel, the you got you got to answer this one. I mean, you don't fuck with board games. That's cool, but everybody fuck with Uno. No, I, I actually don't. I fucking hate Uno. I fucking hate Uno. Uno cards at her house right now. I hate Uno because everybody has their own fucking rules. If we all stuck to one set of rules, my chances of winning would be high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
that's gonna make a bigger impact than you just like setting off a, a firecracker. You like, you could be one person doing something hot, but that don't mean nothing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need multiple people doing it. And that's kind of like what we're doing. And also, it's like we just fuck with a lot of people. You know, we like actually genuinely have good friendships with a lot of people on the yeah. scene, and like we really just enjoy each other. You know, so um, I think that's really the main thing: not being afraid to go to that show. Uh, even if you're not performing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of the past three years, we just pull up, you know what I'm saying? Even when we want to perform, just pull up, showing support, showing love. Yeah. And uh, that go a long way, you know what I'm saying? Just just showing that genuine support for people that you rock with. But the music got to be good, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, like, <laughs> we ain't just rocking with anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, the music definitely got to be there. And also, after that, the um, that's when the relationship forms, you know, like, all right, I actually genuinely rock with that dude that's as a person good. or that woman as a person, you know, so... Man, it's just all about just stepping outside your comfort zone, man. For real. Message. I realized like it was it was it was uh when I say the culture, Atlanta, like with Atlanta, the comparison is like obviously Atlanta is the black Hollywood. Yeah. Like there's a lot of black folks out there, but in the city I've learned like you gotta support every everything, like from music to film to dance to or anything that's entertainment in my area like, that i think it should be cool because everybody kind of be in the same area if you really start like these last three years four years that i've been on the scene you really start realizing like it be the same folks on the same movement rather it's Facts. like i said somebody behind the camera with a podcast a, a songwriter a singer a rapper a dancer or whatever it is you gotta just like network because at the end of the day, you're going to need them people. You're going to need somebody to shoot your video. Yeah. You're going to need somebody to dance for your video. Yeah. Like, if you just rap and be like, bro, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to. You're not going to make it. Somebody to mess with you. Right. That's how I look at it. You got to just understand it's all, like, that's where the culture comes from. The band Can I have something? Man, what? Yeah, yeah. It's just because they play football. Like, they got fans. <laughs> they got practice. They got cheerleaders. They got all that. So, yeah. I yes, think, you may. I think for me, from a, I guess from the outside of an artist perspective, because I mean, any that's let's be real, the, the brand is the artist no matter what. I think your heart got to be in the right place, and for for them, they're in love with the the music, and because you're in love with the music, it's like the journey can be appreciated too. Versus some people who are who are in love with, I guess the fame or the money, <laughs> and when you get into situations where like you in in situations like this where like okay. I gotta, I want to make something, but I may not be in that space right now. As a, as someone in love with the music, you gonna always find that that passion again. It's gonna recreate mm -hmm. itself because it's a part of your life and your story. Versus if you doing it for a check or mm -hmm. a popularity contest, yeah. you gonna you gonna get tired of it yeah. because it's not gonna be sustaining for you in the long run because that's not consistent. It's not a stable yes, goal in a way. Yes, so I think for for us, our heart's always in the right place. Like. Like music is a part of their life. Like it's a stress reliever. It's a passion. It's like sex. It's like brushing your teeth. It's like breathing. And because of that, the the process is easier. You can be patient because this is me at the end of the day. I know I put my best foot forward. Yeah. Success is in the efforts, truly. Go ahead, so, bro. Yeah. Hey man. Success, Success is in the effort. Okay. Success is in the effort. I like that. And it's you make it into a competition. Like it's it's you versus Preach. you. Like her answer is the epitome of like I'm doing this for me. Like I want to better myself so I can put out a better product for the people who love and appreciate me. Right. Yeah. Fuck everything else that come with it. This is for me. Like this is my story. You versus you, not you versus everybody else. Damn. That's what it's all about, man. Damn, Damn bro. Damn. Not for real. That was needed, dog. Damn, bro. That's gonna be good. I like that answer, bro. For real. That's a good ass answer, bro. When we look back now, so we in 20 years, let's say 20 years from now, bro. The Cincinnati wave, cause I feel like y'all not gonna be underground. I don't like that term. I really don't fuck with it because y'all just y'all just are who y'all are. Right. I think that's just what it is. The popularity contest that you we're quote unquote in. I'm gonna stick on that for one second. I think y'all are suiting that popularity contest. I think y'all better than it. I think y'all be like the people that people would be looking up to. If you could talk to the young jits that are looking up to y'all, what are some, uh, I think, million dollars worth of games, I think they like to say? Million dollars worth of game y'all give to them in this closing out days, because I'm for real, like, y'all the OGs. Like, Kyrie, I think you're OG now in this shit, bro. Dad life got yeah, you where, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? Motherfuckers want you to be. <laughs> Peace, God, you know what I mean? <laughs> The advice would y'all give, bro? I'm gonna start off with you. 
lady rappers out here, I don't think they get enough credit. Uh, I don't see that many female rappers out in Cincinnati. Uh, you are probably one of the dopest if just being free. I don't know too many much other Cincinnati rappers out here. That one. Put me on game. Can you name some Cincinnati rappers uh, that are women uh, other than yourself that you think are dope? Yeah. Uh, other I than think, Tiger Goods. I know Tiger Goods. I think Tiger Goods is definitely dope. I love her fucking sound. I love the Codis. Is that her name? Mm. Codis? I think she's like, her vibe is crazy good. Um, Also, Skylar Black. Like, she's also paving the way yeah. for the city in her own right. She's going um, Here's the thing, I'm, I suck with names. I type in, but I suck with names as well. And then I know it's like, even, not even just the Cincinnati and Ohio itself, the Midwest, I know a whole bunch of female rappers that are like paving the way. Um, what I would say to the younger females that are trying to get into the music industry itself is to know who you are and stand on that shit. Don't let anybody or any situation mold, try to remold who the fuck you are. Stand on who you are. And then also... So you like how Amari was saying it is you versus you at the end of the day, because if you try to compare yourself to another female, most of the time I'm seeing a female industry like no shade to the niggas, but your competition is the men, and you gotta make sure whatever you putting out there is your best shit and stand behind and have confidence, stand on what you say and mean what you say. Right. That as a female rapper you gotta have that mentality and you can't be easily swayed or broken, broken in this shit because it's super critical. The spotlight is always on you, and people will always underestimate you. Like, even to this day, people underestimate me until I get a mic in my hand. And then it's a different conversation. Talk your shit. So, I feel like stand on what you believe in, stand behind your talent, and also have people around you who support you and really believe in the vision that you have. Like, have a strong support system, because I feel like that's what differentiates us versus everybody else, is because our foundation is strong. When you hear about BTV, you don't hear about drama, mess, who we don't fuck with, none of that. You just know that we solid. And when we come in, it's gonna, we gonna put some shit on. Like, you don't know that every day we be arguing and shit. Every day we be at each other next block. Y'all know that shit because our foundation is strong. And I feel like you gotta have a found, solid foundation to be able to make it in here, out here. Well, so, yeah. I definitely think y'all record labels, you know, record labels more than family. Even though the fact that y'all cousins, you know what I'm saying? And what you saying, um, you having a strong structure of people that's around you. You got a cheat code. You got your actual blood cousin with you in this shit too. So it, I'm, I'm not. I mean, you know, because he gonna always be there for you. you gonna always have your best interest. You know what I mean? And, and vice versa. versa. You know, knock on wood. Like that's just that's just dope. So that's a dope way of putting it. Dope ass answer. And keep on having that confidence, home girl. Real shit. Uh, my dog. Let's go ahead and get you right on it, cause like I said, bro, who would you who would you give the advice? You a year, a year in the game. Don't think you can't get no advice. You know what I'm saying? You done seen some shit. So what would you give to uh, to the people that lived your life, seen the shit that you probably seen, to probably you know what I mean? Give you that avenue. Give them that avenue out if they could. You know what I'm saying? Listen to your words, cause I mean, you said banks give you that extra push. You know what I mean? You could be able to get somebody that actually push, you know what I mean, right here. So what would be your advice to somebody like that in your situation? Really, like, fuck everybody. Fuck what everybody think, bro. I love how honest like, y'all are, bro. Fact, <laughs> like, because, like, people hate, people, some people gonna hate, some people gonna show love, but at the same time, like, yeah, love, cool. But, like, I don't know about anybody else, but, like, I feed off more hate. Like, I want you to be, like, I'm shitty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's gonna make me better. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's really, like... Try to find your find your niche and stick with it. Like yeah. don't listen to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like what you ever whatever you want to do, you can do it for real. Like it's really like it's all about your mind for real. Yeah. To be honest with you. Hey. Awesome. Uh, motivational speaking is that in the in the future for you though? I gotta ask because I feel like you got a niche for that. Yeah. I mean. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. You feel me? Shit. It, it just seemed like a. It, to me, it just seemed like morally like an oxymoron for me to be to, to capitalize marginalize off of trying to speak life into people because i feel like i should be doing that regardless like regardless mm -hmm. of my title nephew brother sister whatever you know yeah. what i'm saying i should be my if i'm not making your life better by being in it i'm wasting your time like, you know what i'm saying and it, it should work both ways you feel me so that's kind of how i look at it but uh i mean shoot you gotta survive it so, <laughs> yeah. I, I love to close it out, though, by having y'all talk y'all shit. Mm -hmm. I really want to make this like the Arsenio Hall show. That's one thing I really grew up on. I want people to come on my show and talk this shit. 
talk about whatever they have on their mind. Like, one day I'm going to have my couch and mic one day, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all seen the gear up, but you see it, you see it. Y'all got anything y'all want to tell anybody at this time? Get it off your shoulders. Man, I'm going to say this. For real, for real, like, just be ready for this project, this right. BTV project, because we really about to show, like, that this, we not we not playing around. Like, it's we really musically inclined, musically talented, um, and the moves that we about to make is going to be really cool, man. So I just really want people to know that this whole collective as a whole is about that shit. Every, it's no slouches on our level. And that's that's from behind the scenes to in front of the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So just be ready, man, because that's that's like the biggest thing that we got coming. And uh, just come out to these shows. Come to. I feel like when people like if people really want to see us, like and really want to feel how we get down, come to a show yeah. and like vibe with us, connect with us, because then that's when you will see like the energy we bring, the, the love we bring, all that. So just come rock with us, man, because it's going up. It's definitely okay. going up. Respect, respect. Uh, I would just say, to kind of piggyback on what we were just touching base on, like, the person you are before you picked up the pen and pad is going to change, but it should change in a better way if you continue to be who you are. Like, I had to realize, like, we all were supposed to be here. Like, I, like I said, I woke up this morning feeling good, and I was just like, bro, like, if you... If you're going to be a rapper, an artist, a singer, whatever, be you first. Don't change for nobody. Fuck what like he said. Fuck what people say. Fuck what anybody got to say. Because at the end of the day, they not in your shoes. They don't know what you're dealing with. They're going to talk regardless. Them comments are irrelevant. And I wanted to pick up on something that I never, like, actually touched base on. Talk your shit. Um, so it's a post that went viral on TikTok that kind of, um, it affected me in many ways that, like, I never talked about, but I, uh, I, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> what was the post? It was a post about, uh, what, the, what was the question? It was an interview. It was an interview question that stated, um, uh, what, what is something that I don't really like in my studio session? Okay. And I said smoking, but I said like smoking for me, you feel me? Like for a certain track, like yeah. if I'm going to smoke, I'm going to smoke to better myself on the track, whatever. And like, I didn't even know the video went viral. It got like 300,000 views and it's a lot of. People in the comments obviously throwing like yeah. blood shots about my disability or whatever. And um, instead of the person who did the interview was like, you know, kind of like not necessarily defending me because I'm grown, I don't need nobody to defend me. He was kind of like egging it on, you know. Yeah. And like I read them, I, I promise, I read them comments every day. I literally read them comments every day to see if somebody knew because like he said, he feed off the hate. And I'm like, bro, that, if that's how you're going to come, like. That's nothing. So an interviewer kept going on with the shit? Yeah, man. It was like... To keep his notifications going up. He clipped that part only? Oh, yeah. That part ain't in right. Part ain't in right. Just anybody can say that. Part ain't in right. Part ain't in right. You know what I'm saying? Like... Not saying we on... Not saying we some gangsters and shit. Like, cause... You know, we... Real quick. Y'all want me to put this on it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I'll do another. I'm just saying we don't condone that. So anybody respect. Respect. I'll do another interview, bro. Like, I'll do another interview with him and still like do the same shit. Like I'm honestly, that's like turning down an interview from DJ Academics. Like I'm not gonna turn that down. I know the energy he brings. Yeah. He likes to beat off the negativity, and if that's how you gonna come, this aura right here, we're not gonna. That's not gonna lose. You're not, I'm not gonna lose who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the person you is before you got in the studio, before you started writing, continue to be that person and only your goal is to become a better you. Not even a better artist, a better you. Because people who make music make music. It's an outlet, you know, yeah. like that's the source of like expressing how you feel, getting the energy, whatever. So all the people, and honestly, half of them was bots. Of course. Little kids. Of course. Old heads who don't got nothing going for themselves, like, and no profile they picture. Don't know smoke, like, you know, so they, I got I rap all the niggas. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't worry about none of that to be honest. Like I said, if that's how you gonna come. You gotta try hard. I'm a bigger troll than all them. To be honest, <laughs> I promise you, they cannot outdo me. It's like, bro, you're not gonna win. I'll take all these bitches. That's how I. Like, I was just about to say, like, man. Honestly, like, I'm not. I'm not. But it, it did affect. Like literally, reading it as I read it, it was like, like damn, like y'all can really like. Just how y'all coming? Yeah. And that's just how I took it. Yeah, you definitely gotta make that feel, bro. You definitely gotta I make that feel. I was waiting on that day, though. I knew it was gonna come. And it was the fact that I didn't even know it was out there. Like, 
Somebody hit me up like, bro, you know me? And I'm like, well, let me check it out. Oh, it's like this. Okay. Come to my shows. <laughs> Good way to put it, bro. Hey, Gemini's bitch. Huh, yeah. Huh. Gemini's bitch. Okay. I've been waiting for a minute just to rock out. Janet Jackson TD bitch. I'm about to pop out. Time is on my side. I never got a clock out. Get them high since I heard college drop out. Look at life and it ain't what it seems. MJ and Space Jam. I'm extending my reach. Got a spit and shine. Get a grip on the beat. Team on the incline. Got a pair of feet. I was caged in. I was stuck inside the zoo. Now people swag. All oh, shit. I'm getting loose. I'm a superstar. Control the room, I'm a superstar I'm going zoom, I'm a crippled ass nigga with some dick in my step Are you hating on a nigga, you must know that I'm next I'm getting checks, think face, I'm in the net But like a vet, Space Jam, Mr. MJ Flex Bring him out like I'm T.I. and V.I. Underlay my mama, E.I. or E.I. I start the night, never be live, so we live I pen a word that you can't do